Our brains are wired to seek comfort. Our brains are wired to make things easy and efficient. And because of that quest for ease and efficiency, our brains are going to just ignore stuff. In coaching, this principle of fish don't talk about water requires us to have the courage to create a little bit of dissonance, to ask the hard question, to make the observation, to say, you know, I hear you saying X, but your body language is telling me Y. Would you like to tell me more about that? It requires us asking the deeper question. Is there an assumption that's going on underneath what you're saying? Are there biases or isms that are affecting this situation? Is there something going on in our relationship where I'm not able to support you in the way you really need to be supported. These harder questions are the fish talking about the water. These harder questions are about us going beyond what's comfortable. Sometimes we think that what we need to do is create a safe space. I would suggest that what we really need as coaches is a brave space, a space where we're able to be more brave, where our clients are able to be more brave. Now, if we have too little safety, what happens is people won't take risks. People won't try new things. People won't get out of their old ways of thinking. They won't talk about the elephant that's in the room because it's too scary to do that. On the other hand, if we have too much safety, we're too comfortable. And when we're too comfortable, we're not stretching. We're not going beyond the limits that we've set for ourselves. We're not going to go beyond the norms and conventions and assumptions that are part of our thinking. Our brains are wired to seek comfort. Our brains are wired to make things easy and efficient. And because of that quest for ease and efficiency, our brains are going to just ignore stuff. We're going to look at 10 facts and we're going to pay attention to the five that confirm our own biases, confirmation bias. We're going to look at three people and we're going to pay attention to the person who's more like us, affinity bias. If you have a brain, you have bias. It's just the way our brains work. But as we learn to talk about the water, as we learn to ask more challenging and deeper questions, as we build trust in ourselves and with our clients, we're able to have more courage. And in that courage, we're able to have more authenticity. And as we have that authenticity, we're able to seek a deeper level of truth. One of the key challenges for us as coaches to apply this fish don't talk about water principle is for us to come to recognize our own biases and assumptions, to look at our own patterns of reaction. And we call that know yourself in the six seconds model of emotional intelligence. And then we can choose ourselves. We can choose to step out of what was known and comfortable and easy. And we do that for a reason, that reason we call give yourself. The six seconds model becomes a process for us to notice these assumptions, to challenge ourselves, to expand the possibilities and to step forward with more courage. And when we do that as coaches, we invite our clients to do that as well. And they're able to step forward with more freedom, with more sense of possibility, with more sense of the strengths that come from inside because they are awake and they're seeing the things that they hadn't seen before. This is an incredibly important part of coaching. And this principle of fish don't talk about water is going to give us a tool that we can practice and utilize and engage in ourselves as coaches and for our clients as they step forward with more possibilities.